Welcome to a quantitative aptitude video on chain rule from careerright.com. The problems on chain rule are extremely important for placement test, bank, MBA and all other entrance exams. In every exam you can definitely find at least one or two chain rule sums. And since they are easy, they are very useful to increase your scores. In this video we are going to show you some very easy tricks to quickly solve all questions from this topic. After this video, you can go to careerright.com which has 1000 plus practice questions on quantitative aptitude and take the practice test over there. Let's get started. Question number 1. 40 boys paint a house in 96 days by working 9 hours per day. How many hours per day 48 boys need to work so they can paint the house in 45 days? This is a very easy sum if you know the formula. So let's now derive the formula so that it becomes very easy to recollect it in exam as well as remember it in exam. Now always remember that in chain rule there are always two scenarios. There is the first scenario then there is the second scenario and we just need to equate them. Okay, let's see what the first case is. 40 boys paint a house that means now we know that there are 40 boys okay in 96 days so they take 96 days to paint a house by working 9 hours per day so every day they are working for 9 hours right now what is the next sentence how many hours per day 48 boys need to work now Earlier we had 40 boys. So what would be the second scenario? Here we have 48 boys. Okay. Now need to work so they can paint the house in 45 days. Earlier we had 96 days. Now we have 45 days. Now how many earlier there was 9 hours per day. Do we know how many hours per day? No, we do not know. We have to find out. So let us assume question mark over here. Right. There's only one thing missing in this and that is nothing but the work done, right? Now whenever we are painting a house or constructing a house or uh, cleaning a pool, building a tank, etc. We cannot quant quantify the work done. Now we can say that I have de uh, developed like say 10 missiles or I have made 100 beads or I have uh, uh, drawn uh, 1000 sketches or something like that. These are quantifiable things. But building a house, painting a house, etc. This cannot be quantified. So always whenever there is such a scenario that you cannot quantify a work done, you should always take it as one. Okay, so painting a house, constructing a house, uh, cleaning a swimming pool, the work done would always be one. So in the first scenario, work done would be W1. And that is they paint the house from scratch. So that is nothing but one. Again, in the second scenario, the work done is painting the house. Same, they paint the house right from scratch. So the work done is one. Now, the only slight twist in this formula is that the work done in second case has to be written in the first scenario. While the work done in the first case has to be written in the second scenario right it's just the opposite so work done in the second case that is w2 will come over here let's write one over here and work done in the first case that is w1 would come over here so let's write one over here because w1 is one so this is w1 this is w2 now we just need to equate these two right and now multiply the left hand side values with each other multiply the right hand side values with each other over this is the formula let's solve it 9 5s are 48 2s are 5 8s are so what we get is question mark equal to 8 into 2 equal to 16 hours so 48 boys take 45 days okay to paint the house if they work 16 hours per day did you get it? So 16 hours is the answer. See how easy it was. What we, did, what we did was we had men, we had days, we had time, we had the work done. We had men, we had days, we had time, we had the work done. But work done in first case is on the right hand side. Work done on second case is on the 
left hand side and we just multiplied and equated them just multiply and equate them this is the formula for chain rule there's nothing else to it you just need to multiply and equate multiply and equate okay let's take a look at the formula for chain rule in a better manner chain rule formula whenever they have given number of men number of days amount of time hours uh, amount of work done then we simply have to multiply men into days into time into work done in second case in the second case and equate it with men into days into time into work done in first case remember work done in the second case is on the left hand side work done in the first case is on the right hand side we just need to multiply 2 is over here 1 is over here rest all the stuff is like that 1 1 1 and 2 2 2 so in chain rule we just have to multiply men into days into time into work done in second case that would be equal to men into days into time into work done into first case let's see how to use this to solve further sums question number two 54 toy makers can prepare 36 toys per day ajay wants 416 toys how many toy makers should he employ to get the job done in 16 days now again this is very easy we have our two scenarios which we need to include uh, which we need to equate okay we have our men we have days we have time we have work done in second case that is equal to men into days into time into work done in first case let's find out both the scenarios now case one number of men would be 54 toy makers right how many how much is the number of days let's see 54 toy makers can prepare 36 toys per day so number of days would be one okay now time time is not given over here in both the cases so need not consider time over here okay we'll simply neglect time now work done what they have given they prepare 36 toys per day what is this preparing 36 toys is quantifying the work that is nothing but work done work done in first case where will it come it would come over here so let's write 36 over here okay Ajay wants 416 toys 416 what does it mean it is nothing but work done in second case so that would come over here so let's write 416 over here equal to number of men in second case let's find out how many toy makers should he employ so we do not know number of men in second case so there is a question mark now number of days should he employ to get the job done in 16 days so number of days in second scenario is 16 so let's solve this 9 4 za, 9 6 za, okay 16 2 za, 32 so we have 8 9 96 16 6 za, 2 2 za, 2 into 13 2 into 3 so question mark would be 13 into 3 39 toy makers okay so 39 toy makers are needed to get the job done in 16 days see how easy it was whenever you will solve in future you won't even have to write 1 equal to 2 or you won't even have to write the formula you will simply start writing like 54 into 1 into 416 equal to and you can solve this will help you to solve the sums under 30 seconds okay see how easy it was we just have men we have days we have time we have work done in second case we equate it with men into days into time into work done in first case and once you practice you solve more and more sums you won't even have to write this formula you will directly go to this stage and be able to solve sums in 30 to 35 seconds let's move on to question number three question number three 2500 children in a school had enough chocolates for 40 days but some children never came to school and the chocolates lasted for 50 days how many children never came to school again this is an easy one we have our two scenarios right and we equate them we have men we have days we have time we have work done in second case that would be equal to men into days into time into work done in first case okay now what is the number of men in first case that is nothing but number of children 2500 children in a school they have enough chocolates for 40 days so we write number of days as 40 do we know the time over here no let's not consider time okay now work done let's see 
the work done over here is finishing chocolates that is eating all the chocolates can we quantify this work yes we can if we know the number of chocolates but do we know the number of chocolates no right since we do not know the number of chocolates what we can consider is that this is this act of finishing a chocolate or eating the chocolates is nothing but one okay so work done in the first case would be one so where do we write the work done in first case on the right hand side okay over here again in the second case the children who are there they eat the chocolate that is they finish the chocolate in 50 days so the work done would uh, that is w2 would be nothing but one so that we write over here correct so w2 is one then we equate now what they say is that some children never came to school right so let us assume that m children never came to school so how many children came to school or were present 2500 minus m and what happened was that when these children came to school they had chocolates for 50 days okay so we have in the second case number of children as 2500 into m and how many days did the chocolate last for them it was 50 days so let's calculate what do we get over here 50 into 50 so 2000 equal to 2500 minus m m would be 500 so 500 children never came to school so this is the answer see how quickly we found out the answer moving on question number four four women and four children start working together how many days will they need to paint a house completely if three women alone can paint the house in 18 days and six children too alone can do the same in 18 days now what they have given is that three women can paint a house in 18 days okay and six children can paint the house again in same 18 days so what we can say over here is that one woman is equal to two children right that means the amount of work done by two children is same as the amount of work done by one woman because three women and six children they take the same amount of days let us remember this derivation it is useful later on okay now again we have two scenarios right one and two and we need to equate now what they have given over here four women and four children start working right now in the second case we can have three women working or six children working okay let's go with six children working let us say six children working and we have to equate now we see over here we have children and here we have women and children let us have everything in the same unit either women or children let's go with children so we'll convert everything into children so four women would be nothing but eight children why one woman is two children from here so four women would be eight children plus adding this these four children we'll get 12 children and in this case we have six okay so again i'm writing the two scenarios over here we'll have 12 children okay for how many days are they working we do not know okay what the formula is you know m d t w and m d t w one men we know 12 c number of days we do not know yet time is not given don't consider work done what is the work done painting a house we saw painting a house means take the work as one so in second case the work done is one equal to in the first case now here we have taken six children you can take three women also there's no problem at all but here we are considering the situation of six children so there are six children they take 18 days to paint the house and time is not given and the work done is nothing but one let's calculate this becomes two two nine so it is nine days so when four women and four children start working they take nine days to complete the house see how very quickly you can solve this sum using this basic formula just multiply and equate going to the next question question number five 12 pumps of one type pump 30 liters of water when each is running for 18 hours per day but a set of 16 pumps of other type pump 40 liters of water when each is running for 24 hours per day how efficient are former type of pumps than the latter type 
again here there would be two scenarios like since the, it is a chain rule sum we will have your r m d t w m is nothing but the type of pumps uh, the number of pumps over here of the first type of one type we have 12 pumps and uh, the days taken it is not given so don't consider days then time time it is 18 hours per day for the first pump so right 18 into work done in second case now we do not know the work done let's see what it is 12 pumps pump 30 liters of water so this 30 liters of water is nothing but work done okay because we are able to quantify it so 30 liters of water is a work done in first case so that would come over here in the second scenario okay now each is running for 18 hours per day that we have included but a set of 16 pumps of other types so number of men in second case would be 16 that is the number of pumps right other type pump 40 liters of water what is this 40 liters of water work done in second case that would come over here so write 40 over here equate it now we do not know number of days over here what is the time for the second scenario 40 liters of water when each is running for 24 hours per day so write 24 over here okay now over here you can see nothing is missing all the values are given then what exactly do we have to find we actually have to find efficiency what is efficiency or how, what is being efficient let us say that a is twice as efficient as b that means that a will do in the same amount of time a will do two times more work than b if a is five times more efficient than b then a in the same amount of time say one hour or two hour or something like that a will do five times more work than b if a is five times more efficient than b okay now over here what we have to find out is how efficient is former type of pump than latter type okay so let we cannot have that means that there are two different types of pump okay there are two different types of pump one is former type one is latter type so over here whatever we have written 12 and 16 we cannot write it directly it is like there are two types of fruits one is apple and one is orange okay can we equate apples to oranges like 16 apples are there and 20 oranges are there and let's equate it no we can never do that okay so what we need to have is there are 12 pumps of former type okay so let f denote the pump of former type so there are 12 pumps of former type into 18 into 40 would be equal to 16 pumps of latter type into 24 into 30 so l represents latter type pump f represents former type pump okay these are like uh, differentiating factors that dif uh, that differentiate both the type of pumps so 12 f or the 12 pumps of former type can be equal to 16 pumps of latter type when these factors are there okay so now let's calculate what do we get over here 10 3s are 10 4s are 6 4s are 6 3s are 3 3 okay 4 4 so we have 12 f equal to 16 l so f upon l equal to 16 by 12 equal to 4 4s are 4 3s are so 4 by 3 so the former type of pumps are 4 by 3 times more efficient than latter type of pumps why over here what we saw if a is two times more efficient than b then a does two times more work than b right so what would be a upon b two upon one right same way over here f is equal to 12 f equal to 16 l so f would be four by three times of l so over here if a is 2b this means that a is two times more efficient than b then this means former type of pump is four by three times more efficient than l see how easily you got the answer okay going to the next one question number six 75 girls complete one third decoration of a building in 40 hours now they have only 50 hours to complete the rest of the decoration how many more girls are necessary to help them to complete the task again there are two situations and we have our formula mdtw work done in second case equal to mdtw work done in first case in the first case we have 75 girls okay now they are uh, taking now number of days is not given so let's not consider it right they are taking 40 hours okay and uh, what is the work done in their case let's see girls complete one third decoration of a building now what happens over here is like painting a house decorating a building from scratch means like painting the house so work done should be taken as one correct 
So one third decoration of the building is over. That means one third work is done, right? So where will this one third come over here? Because this is the work done in first scenario. Now, if one third decoration is done and the sum says that find out the how many girls are necessary to complete the task or the rest of the decoration. That means remaining amount of decoration is nothing but this rest of the decoration is nothing but work done in second case. Let's find out how much decoration is remaining. If one third is done, how much is remaining? One minus one by three is two by three. So this is nothing but work done in second case. Let's write it over here. Why? Because work done in second case always comes into the area of first scenario. Okay. As per this formula. Now, number of men in second case, we do not know. Now, there were initially 75 girls and they say, find out how many more girls are necessary to complete the task. Let us assume that G more girls are necessary. So now in second scenario, how many girls are work, how many girls are working on decorating the building? 75 plus G, right? Because G girls get added. So in second scenario, amount of girls is 75 plus G. Now they have only 50 hours to complete the rest of the decoration that is given in the second sentence. Okay. 50 hours. So work done. Uh, the time taken in second scenario is 50. Let's calculate this. We have all the values over here. This is five. This is four. This is five ones are five fifteens are okay. We have 15 into 4 is 60 to 120 equal to 75 plus G, G would be equal to 45. So 45 more girls are needed, right? To complete the task. Moving on. Question number seven. Rohan wants to build a tank in 20 days for which he hires 60 workers. After 10 days, he sees that only 30% of work has been done. To speed up the process and get the tank built in stipulated time, how many workers should work on the tank? Again, pretty easy sum. We have the two scenarios over here. We have men days time work done. So in the first case, number of men would be 60, right? Then uh, days is a given. So Rohan wants to build the tank in 20 days, but this is the entire time limit. What he says is that after 10 days, that means 60 workers, when they are working for 10 days, he sees that only 30% work has been done. Okay, so to speed up the process and get the remaining large amount of work that is 70% work to be done. How many workers should work on the tank that is asked that means he must have uh, put in some workers or removed some workers and made sure that the work gets completed in these 20 days. So these 60 workers must have worked only for 10 days. So in the first scenario, the number of days would be 10 because corresponding to men, we have to find the number of days. It is not what, what is given in the numerical directly. So these 60 workers work for 10 days. Now the time, do we know time? No. So don't consider time over here. Now work done in second scenario. We do not know. Let's leave it blank. Okay. Now work done in second case. Now he, uh, we are asked how many workers should work on the tank to complete the remaining work. Okay. So we do not know that. Let us assume that n number of workers should work multiplied by number of days. Now already 10 days have passed. 60 workers worked for 10 days. So how many days are remaining? Only 10 days are remaining because we have to build the tank in stipulated time. So 10 days and what is the work done? We do not know in first case. Now let's find out what is the work done. Say a tank is being built. Okay. Out of that 30% work is done. What is 30%? 30 upon 100. That is nothing but 3 upon 10. Right. This much work is done. So how much is the remaining work? This is done. This is nothing but work done in first case, right? Because 60 workers in 10 days did 30% work. That is three by 10. This is work done in first case. Where will it come? It will simply come over here. Let's write it. Now, how much work is remaining? 30% is done. 100 minus 30% is 70%. So 70% is remaining. 70% is 70 upon 100. That is nothing but seven by 10. This is the amount of work left. What is this? work done in second case, right? So where will it come over here? Let's calculate. We get M equal to three. So this three, this seven, seven, six are 420 divided by three equal to 140. So 140 
men are needed for rohan to complete the remaining work in so in the remaining 10 days so that the tank gets built in 20 days remember it is not asked how many more workers are needed if they ask how many more workers are needed it would be simply 140 minus 60 equal to 80 more workers are needed but this has not been asked what is asked how many workers should work that is the total men that should work so answer is 140 going to the last question question number eight a tank has oxygen for 72 patients and can last for 54 hours for them if patients reduce their oxygen consumption by 10 percent then 90 patients can use this oxygen supply for how many hours now over here this might look a little bit tricky or something like which is not a chain rule sum but if you look carefully it is a chain rule sum we have two scenarios over here okay we might not find work done like normally which we have but here there is another quantity which is similar to work done and that is nothing but consumption okay now what we can observe over here is that whatever the tank of oxygen is there okay that is same for 72 patients and 90 patients both of them use the same tank that is the same tank is used in both scenarios okay now how much of the oxygen has been consumed how can we find that we do not know actually okay and what is the um, capacity of the oxygen over here that also we do not know but it is much easier to find consumption how let's see let us assume that in one hour one patient breathes p amount of oxygen in one hour in one hour one patient breathes p amount of oxygen so in one hour 72 patients will breathe how much 72 p right pretty easy one hour one patient p amount of oxygen one hour 72 patients will breathe 72 p amount of oxygen now in 54 hours how much oxygen will be bred uh, will be breathed in by taken in by 72 patients 72 p into 54 so first case scenario is 72 p into 54 this is the oxygen consumed in the first case that is nothing but the capacity of the oxygen because this gets over in 54 hours when 72 patients breathe so capacity of the oxygen or the amount of oxygen in the tank is nothing but 72 p into 54 and we know that the capacity of the tank is same for both the cases right so we need to equate now let's go on to the next case what is the next case if the patients reduce the oxygen consumption by 10 percent so initially if they were taking in p minus 10 percent now they will take okay so that would be nothing but 100 minus 10 percent is 90 percent so now they will take 90 percent of p amount of oxygen taken in by one patient would be 90 percent of p that is nothing but 90 p upon 100 is that right so one patient in one hour one patient will take 90 p upon 100 amount of oxygen in this case in second case how much amount of oxygen will be taken in by 90 patients right it would be 90 into 90 p upon 100 right so we'll write 90 into 90 p upon 100 but number of hours do we know here we know 54 hours the patients can take in the oxygen but this 90 patients in 90 p upon 100 amount of oxygen so for how many hours can they take we do not know so put in a question or question mark let's solve p gets cancelled over here okay 9s are 10 9s are in 10 10s are 100 9 6 are 9 8 are question mark equal to 8 6 are 48 hour so 90 patients can breathe in for 48 hours if they reduce their oxygen consumption by 10 percent okay see how easy it was you just had to multiply these values and equate it chain rule sums are pretty easy never leave them for option always attempt those it is pretty easy to score in these sums if you practice enough you will be easily able to solve any type of sum related to chain rule okay with this we have come to the end of this video if you like this video please give it a like and share it with your friends you can leave your comments and suggestions for us in the comments box below you can tell us about any specific videos that you would like us to develop for you 
we would be rolling out more such videos and tutorials so subscribe to our channel and stay updated